Hello boys and girls, my name is Danny Mac and this tutorial is intended to follow on from the mouth tutorial so I've linked that in the description below for those that haven't seen it. Now I split this tutorial up into three different sections because really it addresses three different ideas and what I've learned from doing the 60 second tutorials is that if you break it up it makes them much easier to find at a later date. So part two will be uploaded tomorrow. So I have my model here and I've sculpted a shape key to shut the eye and I want to build a control to drive the shape. I could do something similar to last time where I create the control in the 3D view but instead let's take a look at custom properties which can be found down here in the object panel. I'll click add and you'll see that creates a new property called prop and we can edit the attributes by clicking edit. For this example, I'll name the property left eye blink and set its default value to 0.0, .0 and I'll leave the min and max value at 0 to 1 for now. And in the tooltip, I'll write left eye blink control. Notice we now have this new slider called left eye blink that goes from 0 to 1, and if we navigate to our end panel, you'll find it conveniently placed in there too, underneath properties. Also notice that if we select a different object, the property goes away, meaning it's specific to that object. We can now use this slider to drive our shape key, so let's come over to our shape key and right click and add driver manually. I'll create a new window and change it to graph editor using hotkey shift F6 and I'll switch it to drivers. Again our driver is found under key and I'll press N to bring up the drivers panel. This time I'll rename the variable to blink and change the expression to match. This just means our driver value is whatever value our variable gives us. So if I was to change this to blink plus one, our driver value would be our variable value plus one, which turns our driver on. So let's undo that. We want our custom property to drive this variable. So to do that, I need to change the variable type to be single property. Currently our ID type is set to object, but you can see we have a pretty long list of types from which we can drive our property. And I'd encourage you to experiment with these, but in this case object is actually what we want because remember that our custom property can be found in our object panel. If you're ever unsure what a property type is, just hover over it and the tooltip will help you. Remember that our custom property is object specific, so we already know which object we need to select here, which presents us with an input path. If we hover over the property again, we can find the correct path in our tooltip, but Blender makes this very easy for us. All we need to do is just right click, choose copy data path, and then paste this path into our variable. Our custom property now drives our shape key. Okay, so that's it for part one. If you like and share this video, you'll be doing a lot to support me. And you might also consider checking out my Gumroad store where I have a bunch of tutorial packages covering advanced topics for your 3D characters. Thanks for watching.